How you doing? You're watching NYC Rock, where we bring you real New York City rock and roll stories. And that is Wendigo Productions. Woo! I wish they had been around 20 fucking years ago. We need a local promoter like this. You guys came. You're like a fucking... Yeah. They're like angels, yeah. angels from heaven sent to save the local rock scene in New York City. It's this one right here who's responsible. She's the brainchild behind it all. This is the 50-year-old child. I'm fucking 50 and my dad wanted me to do this my whole fucking life. And may he rest in peace. I know he's smiling down at this party right now because he'd be right here doing lines and smoking dope with the rest of you motherfuckers. Wait a second. That guy upstairs who I was just doing lines with was not your dad? Reformed Horrors with two girls. Somebody stole their purses out of the dressing room. And they were like, I was convincing them, like, all your stuff, all your stuff will be safe. Like, rock people are nicer than they look. Everything will be cool. And like, yeah, while they were on stage just now, I got to figure out who was in that room up there. Because it was somebody that we let in. To the, it was from the upstairs dressing room. So somebody that we let in. Yeah, it has to be somebody with the So yeah, I gotta, I gotta figure it out. This is the only time. But they're such sweethearts, I feel horrible. Never, I've been here like seven years. Never happened? There's no way we're gonna find them. This is the dressing room. Yeah. Ever, even on anything. I'm gonna have to go back and find out who exactly was in there. I don't have anything. Like, Grace. My boyfriend is out. I don't know where. I don't know. I don't even know my boyfriend's phone number. It's fucking ridiculous. Yo, they took my camera too. No. Yeah. They did. They took every camera that went to get 
gift to Rick. Wait a minute, seriously? Yeah, my whole backpack's gone. Wait. And no really? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I fucking had them. They were right on top of each other over here. I mean, unless someone moved it and I don't know. No, you know, like, fucking Eric said somebody moved his bag and opened it. Didn't I take mean, anything. I mean, it's not where I left it. Uh, you know, I don't see it. You know what? Two bags in the camera. Somebody to walk out here with it. It's a fucking band member. Let's flip it. Somebody put it in a fucking bag. Someone what? Somebody, somebody up here in a band put it in a fucking bag. Two purses and a camera missing. Somebody did not walk out of here with that shit. Nobody's seen anything. My bag and her bag. Yeah, and her bag too. Video camera missing from up here. A video Nobody, camera. I'm missing a phone. I'm missing my other cell phone. Wow. I feel the It's happening. They got my bag of fucking adapters. Fucking this guy came in here and off. pillaged it. And now, in one moment, was the security guy like, oh, maybe there's nothing on us. It's Wendy, and Wendy has to fucking pay for it. You have to get a pass to walk into this fucking place, but somehow he was like, come on in, pillage it, take everything. They got their purses gone. You got your fucking camera. Yeah. Everyone's got something missing. Fucking one of his extra cameras he bought the film was stolen from the back. Kill Code's uh, merch girl, her phone was taken. A few bags were gone through upstairs. The right pocket. Dude, someone's gonna die for this. I didn't pack up your stuff, I just packed up the books that were over there. We still got a couple boxes left. Oh, I'll be here until like right. 9 or whatever. Alright, like I said, even just do one code or something this late, I'll finish stuff tomorrow. Alright, cool. Alright, I'll be back. She's pregnant and married. She's pregnant? She's married and No! Yeah, like... Oh, hi! Dude! Fucking, I heard the news. No, dude, it's so awesome. I'm psyched. Apparently, what we hear is that facial recognition technology has identified the perpetrator, alleged perpetrator, of the Irving Plaza grand larceny that took place, which, um... The cameraman, who you can't see, who's right over there, 
was the victim of, as well as the reformed horrors, several other people. I think we should stick out. Like we should follow them. We should. If we can get the cops, cops to give us his name, we can just fucking Google him and go to his fucking house. Yeah, that's true. I don't understand why it took so long. It's everything, long everything takes forever. Right? You know, it's just. Obvious, actually, it's like. It's been like. I mean, it took long from our perspective, but probably from like a New York City like cops actually trying to solve a crime. It was. It, it, it wasn't that long. Well, the other thing was, I feel like it's always going to be slower than what you hope. You know what I mean? As the victim, you're like, how come you guys aren't doing anything? But right. they so, don't have him yet. But, well, what's good is they know his name, they have his face, so it's only a matter of fucking time. It's like, how many places can he live? You. He told me that, that they might not be able to get me, uh, get him on the camera charge because no one actually saw him take the camera. But because they have footage of him using the credit card, they definitely can get him what on the What do they have footage of him doing? Using the credit card at CVS. Can he still waterboard? No. We can't. <laughs> well, no, we can't. We can't. He, he totally, he totally falls under the Patriot Act. He's yeah. a complete terrorist. He's an obvious terrorist. He caused terror for many people. We can send- He completely terrorized me that entire night. There were sad girls. There was a sad Damien. There was like, it was horrible. Where's a fucking camera? He's pretty sloppy. He had an arrest record so he, for marijuana, for stealing a purse. He obviously doesn't give a fuck anymore because right. he's like standing around letting himself get videotaped right. by the yeah. guy he's robbing. Yeah. So <laughs> he's obviously either stupid or he just doesn't care. But we did, we did, we did the like 90% of the footwork on social networks. We got the guy's face out there. We have the entire like community neighborhood watch, like the rock and roll neighborhood watch. All there is to do now is figure out the name of our detective agency. Maybe uh, your name should be in the title of the uh, the crime fighting squad. Damien's <laughs> League of Extraordinary Quigleys. Wait, I don't get in there anywhere. Like I, well, you're not I created all those photos and posted them on Facebook. And you're not a very Quigley in that case. Oh, That's geez, the, thanks for that. It's Quigley's League of Extraordinary Damien's. There's no rocket in that title whatsoever, man. I don't like it. I vote no. How about Justice Rocket? <laughs> rocket of Justice Investigations. The most heart-wrenching thing for me was the fact that I had put the whole thing together. I felt responsible for everything that went on during the show. And it was supposed to be a celebration. It was about Wendy's birthday. And we had an incredible lineup with incredible performers. And they were all close friends. So it was really important that, that we found this guy and we did whatever we could to make it right. Hey, Damien, how are you? I'm all right, I'm all right. Good, good, good. Uh, what was I calling? I just wanted to call you that. Um they got to take your personal property, we arrested. I, I just want to let you know on that. You, and the, uh... Wait, so what, what happened? You guys arrested him? Yes. Where, where'd you guys find him? So, uh, you know, when he got picked up, he, uh, he jumped the turnstile, so we had an I-card out for him. So he, so he popped the I-card, being that he was an investigation card. And, um, that was it. He came, um, they brought him into the precinct. Oh, really? Yeah. The fact that we put the I-card out on him, you know, we were able to grab him. Everything worked out. So, well, uh, I'm not sure if the AD is going to call you tonight or maybe tomorrow, but they'll, they'll call you and ask you about your property and whatnot and go from there. So, so what, I mean, so you guys haven't searched his home for it or? Yeah, you know what, he says he, that he got rid of it, he doesn't have it. Really? Yeah. And he's like... Uh, Sort of undomicile, he's going from one house to another, so... And I, I told you I checked the leads online that it hasn't been pawned off or anything like that. Right. So, and your pictures were of a great help, you know. So we got them. That's how you got them, right? The facial recognition, yeah. But the facial recognition, uh, once he thought, once I saw the picture of... Uh, that was on our files and then him, forget about it. It was like, this seems awesome. All right. What, so what happens? I mean, what happens with him? Is he go, is he in jail now or? Yeah, I'm waiting to bring him down to Central Booking, and then uh, he he's the judge in the morning. Okay. It goes to trial. He goes home, or he stays in jail, or. They can either release him on his own recognizance, set up bail, or uh, you know, 
Uh, that, that, those are the two options, or you know, uh, and then wait till it's the next court date. Yeah. You know, he admits to it, so there's uh, there's no issue. Oh, really? He did. Yeah, yeah, there was really, you know, I showed him the pictures. I showed him your know, pictures from your video. I see that showing the pictures from him uh, of him walking down the stairs. Like a video of him purchasing product uh, from uh, Marie Anderson's credit card. Yeah. Oh, you know, we got all that proof. Yes. So he, he just started crying, and then <laughs> he did. You know, he wrote down a little statement and. Yeah, what's up? Wow, so he, he, he got busted. Jesus. He got busted pretty hard. He didn't think it was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. That face, that face recognition is going to be good. If, uh, you know, as long as you get good video. Huh? They don't have professional people taking videos out there, but yours is pretty good. Yeah, well, he was kind of stupid for like doing that you know when i was in there filming i mean it was <laughs> yeah well you know my dad with, this is new technology we just started using this uh it's probably been around but we've only used it uh the last maybe six months or so oh really yeah it hasn't it's not something that was um online you know that was available yeah yeah wow so, it's pretty cool yeah, I mean, yeah definitely it's pretty amazing yep yep uh, you know what's funny? I went to, uh, was it Andy's Kitchen or? Arlene's Grocery? Arlene's Grocery, yeah. yeah. I went there just uh, as part of my investigation. I was talking to the people over there, and they say, they're they saying how they chased him out of there, and um, but he didn't get anything. Right. So looking to do the same thing, it looked like. They saw him there twice, two nights in a row. So he was there one night casing it, and then he came back. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, so it's good, you know. <laughs> Get him off the streets, or he stops doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Absolutely. Huh? And he's from here. He's in. He's from New York. Yeah, he's a New York guy. Wow. Well, that's pretty. I'm glad to hear the news. I mean, uh, it's too bad my camera and all the other stuff is gone. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully, maybe they'll make him pay for some of that. For that stuff. Yeah. What he what he say he did with it? He said he he got rid of it. He sold it. Yeah. He just got rid of it. Shit. You think he's lying, or he, he did? Uh, oh, no, I'm sure he did. He was just looking to make a quick buck, you know. It's, you know, it's not like he was, in, he didn't say he didn't uh, take the camera or anything like that. He was just forthright and, and just said it. So he said, he, okay, that's good. Cause you, and you guys have that, because before you were kind of like saying it was a little questionable whether um, whether we could prove that he took the camera because we didn't actually like have I said, it. It's a, just, I would have to get the confession off him, and he confessed, so that was good. Yeah, so he confessed, and so that's that's. Right, he put himself at the uh, at Irving Plaza. He put him, showed him the pictures. Yeah, he said that's me. So he just went. He just went with it. So it worked out. He just went. He he just broke down. Yeah, man. Yeah, he was kind of sobbing a little bit too. Right, just because I think he knew what the hell, what's gonna happen. You know what happened. Yeah. Wow. I, I wish I wish I had seen that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> like. Just because. Is what are you going to do now? What am I doing? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm still, I'm still filming some, some rock shows and some of the rock people that I've been following. You yeah, know, okay. uh, trying, trying to get all this footage edited and, uh, you know, make a little documentary kind of web thing to put online. You know, so this will, this will, this will be part of the story. I mean, this, all this. <laughs> I like, you know, it's funny. You uh, email. I talked to you the last time you emailed me the. Uh, the video on this guy? Yeah. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, it was a funny thing. What? The... Your little vignette with uh, the perp? Yeah. Um, uh, were you uh, circling on him and everything? Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I just went through and, and saw everything, every you know, everywhere he was in my footage and, <laughs> and just kind of froze it, slowed it down, whatever, just to, like, get right. a good look of him, so... Thank God I had that frontal. I found that frontal shot because I wasn't in the original video. Remember? Right, right, right. Like I had to, I had to look around and boom, he was right there in the middle of the lens. Yeah, because with the uh, facial recognition, you need that direct hit. That's the only problem with it. You know, you need a direct hit on it. Thanks for all your work and effort. I'm glad, uh, you know, it worked out. Yeah, I me, mean, I'm, I'm definitely happy for you guys. At least, uh, if anything gets arrested, you didn't get over. You know, unfortunately, your property you won't get back, but hopefully, you get some compensation. Yeah. If the courts uh, do that, yeah. 
Yeah, I'll do that. It'd, it'd be nice, yeah. I mean, that's. I, I would have liked to have the camera, you know. The camera's with me through a lot of things. and Yeah. You know, I filmed for a lot of different cool things with that camera, you know. It's, it's part of my history, so. Right. It's well, not, it's not cheap either, you know. You don't want the yeah. camera to be giving away to anybody. All right, well, uh... Well, if anything, uh, I'll call you back. Okay. If you need anything, give me a call. All right. All right, thanks. Thanks Thank you. Have a good night. You too, have a good night. Bam! Got him! Fuck! Yes! Fucking got him, man. Really? Yeah. After three months? Yeah. Did they catch the guy yet? They got him? They got him. They got him? They got him. Holy shit, they got him! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fucking amazing. Yeah. That is great. They fucking got him. So, like, nigga, he's gonna be pegged for stealing all that shit that night? Well, oh, man, that's fucking cut great. Out head <laughs> oh, that is fucking great. I'm so glad to hear it. Finally. That makes right? me feel real fucking happy. Real happy to hear that. Fucking finally, justice prevails. Yeah. Hopefully, he's gonna get butt fucked in jail, too. <laughs> it makes me feel. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel like. You know, people care, and this is what the scene's all about. It's people looking out for each other. It was it was really heartwarming to see the way people came together and the way they uh, they really looked out for each other. There was that time where there was nothing that we could really do about it. I was really frustrated with the police department for a long time. Um, they were really hard to get a hold of and hard to deal with. But at the end of the day, they ended up they ended up catching the guy and they ended up doing their job. You know, thanks to the work that that Damien did and really that's that's what what gave me closure you know it it uh I finally feel like we can put that behind us now and uh and move on it, it, it wasn't about punishing him it was about letting everyone know that you know when we were all work together we can do something and we can do something really cool and even if it's something even if it's righting or wrong it's it's about working together and, and that's the only way that the scene's ever going to survive you know we're, we're all very DIY and um, it's nice to have a little bit of vindication you know at, at the end of it Change my life. I got New York blood.